Hello lovely people, welcome to The Geek, but I am Penge, and welcome to Good Company, which is a game that I have been looking forward to playing for quite some time, because I think it looks rather marvellous indeed. So it's a tycoon game where we design products, and then we build factories to build those products, so there's automation and efficiency, and we all know how good we are at automation and efficiency in The Geek Cupboard, and there's staff to manage and markets to exploit, and it's all done in this brilliant cartoony style that you can see before you here on the menu screen. Screen. And there's also a nice touch of silliness about the whole thing. So yes, a humorous, silly, charismatic tycoon game with product design and production lines that doesn't take itself too seriously. I think you can see why I have been looking forward to this one quite so much. Uh, this is the March 2020 public test version, so the game is not available yet. And of course it is a test, so things might not be entirely correct, there might be bugs and glitches and whatnot. And we got a key to this from the very, very splendid and lovely Chunky Loki over at the Geek Cupboard Discord. So thank you so much, Chunky Loki. That is very kind of you. May your tea forever be piping hot. If you are interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description so you can wishlist it and check out the game and all that kind of stuff. The game does come out on March the 31st and it is going into early access. So yes, if you pop it on your wishlist, you will be probably notified by Steam when it's available for you to go and have a look look at and have a play with, but I think without any further ado, let us dive straight in and see if we can indeed create a good company. After many years away, you're back in Good County, proud home of tinkerers and tycoons. Upon your return, you discover that ruthless global corporations have brought the local industry to its knees. Now your fellow citizens are in need of jobs and someone to offer them a brighter future. You've been hired by the Federal Bureau of Industries to get the local economy back on track. Their consultant will contact you shortly. Okay, oh, there we go, that's typical, isn't it? We go away for a short while and we come back and everything's fallen apart. Okay, so the campaign mode level number one here is returning home. There is a little house with a little car. Your dad's garage is just as you remember it, the scent of motor oil. Burnt hair and fancy cologne tickles your nose. This is the ideal location to start your new company. The folks at the Federal Bureau of Industries are pinning their hopes on you to revive local business. Don't let them down. Okay, I will try my my very best, even though I am working out of my dad's garage. So the level goals, sell at least one calculator. This sounds brilliant already. And oh, okay, right. So there's all sorts of bits and bobs that we might not have, but we just need to sell one calculator. Is that it? Other goals are going to be available during early access. So our goal is to sell a calculator. I think we can do that. I mean, we have to make it first, I imagine, before we sell it. But okay, let's give this a go and see if we can sell ourselves a calculator. Okay, here we go. So this is our person from the Bureau of Industry, whatever it was. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Kerry Goldfield, business consultant. It's good to have you back in Good County. Well, it's good to be home. Thank you very much. The local economy is doing terribly. Oh, brilliant. Well, there you go. I'm glad I've arrived at the right time. We hope you can change that. I will assist you as much as I can. Before you get started, remember that you can review the things we discussed today by clicking the progress bar below. Okay, and if you ever get stuck, you can learn more in your tycoon's manual, which is this shiny sort of thing just here. Okay, let's begin. Running a good company depends on many factors. Let's work our way up from the basics by crafting something to sell. Okay, like a calculator, perhaps. To craft things yourself, you need to have the required materials in your inventory while you are using a workplace. If you don't have the materials in stock, you can order them using the incoming zone. Okay, that's down here, look. So we've got ourselves a little incoming zone. And, oh, there's us. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, yeah, nice. So we did design us. When yeah, you started the game, we did get to design our character. And there's quite a lot of styles. There's quite a lot of styles going on. I've gone for a classic sort of lab coat kind of style. And this, you get to have a little companion. This is T-Bot. So say hello to T-Bot. I, I don't think we can turn the camera around. But that, look how adorable T-Bot looks. T-Bot looks brilliant. I actually want a T-Bot. Can we just sell these? Because they would be an absolute winner. I mean, if they could produce tea, that would be brilliant as well. But, I mean, tea bot's just the most adorable thing. Okay, so, yeah, sorry, lady, I got distracted by how I look and my little robot friend. I hear there's decent money to be made selling single-cell batteries. To craft this module, you need chemicals. Okay, I've already placed the order to get you started. Take the chemicals to the tinker table and set it to the single-cell battery module recipe. Okay, right, hang on, what, one step at a time. Take the chemicals to the tinker table. Okay, so how do we get our hands on these? 
So take those. Uh, oh, and you're delivering some stuff. So more stuff is arriving. Oh crikey. Um, okay, how do we how do we take the stuff? How do we actually grab the stuff? Do we click on yeah, we click on that. But then how do we Oh no that oh no that adds to the order. Oh no no, we don't want to do that. I don't think we want to do that. Do we right click? How do we how do we pick up the stuff? Do we just walk over to it and grab it? Um yeah, that one. How do I pick stuff up? Hang on, does it tell me how? Your first goal is to craft at least two single cell batteries. My first goal is to pick something up. How do I pick this up? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how I lift something up into my hands. Oh, I think we drag things to the bottom. There we go. Right, so I've taken the stuff out of the incoming zone. It's now in my inventory. Okay, gotcha. Okay, tinker table. Now let's go to the tinker table. Okay, so we need to craft at least two single cell batteries. Okay, let's make some of these. So start crafting. Yeah, okay, right, I get this. So we're using chemicals and we're making ourselves a little battery. Takes a little while to get done, but we're making one at the moment. So we could have put that up to two. So we've made one. We'll start work on another one. Okay, and there you go. Look, we can see he's, he's busy here. Look, he's busy tinkering away. Got tools. He's got some wire. And there we go. Milestone reached. We are a hobbyist. Very good. Can you see your new outgoing zone next to your garage gate? Uh, yes, there. There's an outgoing zone. Yes, I can. Every Monday morning, a truck will pick up everything you've placed there and sell it for you. Ah, that's very convenient. Let's make some money. Your next goal is to place at least two single cell batteries in the outgoing zone so they can get sold. Okay, do we just drop them onto there like that? Because that's how many we've got. Put it in the outgoing zone and we are sorted. So we are now a tinkerer. Tinkerer level one. Okay, and uh, yes, yeah, somebody is coming over to buy it in a little while. Okay, splendid. I'm so glad that the Federal Bureau of Industries hired you. Let's continue. I mean, I feel like you've led me uh, quite well so far. I mean, I did struggle to, you know, how, to figure out how to pick something up. But, you know, once we got that sorted, we're absolutely fine. The recipe for simple cases is now available. You can switch recipes at the tinker table and see which materials are required. Remember to order what you need from the incoming zone. Okay, so now we want to make ourselves a simple case. What do we need for that? plastic okay so now we go over to here and yeah i would like to order 60 plastic please so now we just sort of sit about and wait so what she's saying your next goal is to craft two simple cases okay gotcha so then we just wait ah, right there it is it has arrived we drag that from there down into here then we can go to the tinker table and we can say let's make two of those things and then say start crafting two cases okay so we sit back and wait. T-Bot just sort of watches us. So if he just floats about a bit and just looks completely adorable. Okay, so we've got ourselves one of those done. And now it's making another one. So we're manufacturing another simple case. Now at some point, we're going to have to put these together to make a calculator. Which is wonderful. I like this. Tinker at two. There we go. Well done. While I value your hands on commitment, we need to free you up to focus on other important areas okay that's where your workforce comes in let me show you how to delegate tasks and hire employees to do them i've got t-bot can t-bot help otherwise i'm not entirely sure what t-bot does apart from just charms everybody by how completely adorable they are i'm surely t-bot can do something keep in mind the workplace an employee is supposed to use needs to be set to the required recipe ah Okay, so we need a table for making the batteries and a table for making the cases. Switch to logistics mode. This lets you choose where materials are taken from and where crafted items are then stored. Okay, right now here is where everything begins to very slowly fall apart as we have to actually do some planning. Okay, logistics mode. Oh, oh it's all gone very exciting. Okay, fine, let's see. To begin, drag a connection from the incoming zone to the tinker table. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've dragged a connection between the two. Uh, yep, so that did something. So now there's a line connecting them. Next, drag from the tinker table to connect it with the outgoing zone. This connection, uh, with this connection, your crafted items will be taken, uh, taken straight to be sold. Okay, so drag that down to there. Right, gotcha. To hire your first employee, open up the personnel panel and click the hire employees button. Take your pick from the prospective employees there. Where is the personnel panel? Oh, just here. Okay, right. Personnel panel, hire employees. Oh, this is brilliant. Who do we want to get on board? Caprice Morgan costs quite a bit of money. 
Um, who else have we got? Who else have we got? These people are all quite cheap. I feel like we should get someone that's good that costs a bit of money per day. Can we find out more about them when we click on them? Do we get more information about them? We don't really have any information on them right now. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, Boris Stavros. He he looks like he looks like a guy who knows what he's doing. He's got sort of uh, glasses on and brilliant hair. So yeah, we'll have you. Although you are wearing a hat, Katie Tremblay. You are wearing a hat. Also oh, is Caprice Kovacevic. Um, okay. Oh, Andrew Morin. Andrew Morin looks completely the part. Yeah, we'll have you, Andrew Morin. Look at that. That's wonderful. Yeah, we'll hire you. Hello, Andrew. Welcome. Okay, so I assume we assign you to this workplace. Right, so Andrew's just sort of stood about now. Yeah, you know, he looks very dapper, but he is just sort of stood around. Let's go and see if we can... Uh, oh, oh, ch cheerio now. He's just wandered off. He's just gone outside. I guess that's because he has nothing to do. Come back in, please. I want to show you around. I mean, I would show you to where the tea and coffee making facilities are, but we haven't got any of those or toilets. So, you know, I hope you've got a very, very strong bladder. Uh, OK, so we've done that. Then assign your new hire to the tinker table. OK, so the workplace is just there. So now he is going to go over here and he is going to grab plastic from here and he is just going to make cases. That's what he's going to do. He's going to put the cases onto the outgoing zone and then that will make us money. This is wonderful. Let's just watch it in action. So is he then just going to ship it over? So that's one. Is that one case that you've made? Yeah. Okay. That's very good. Okay. Lovely. You can now officially call yourself a boss. Have your employee craft two modules for you now. Okay. Well, he is on that right now. So there we go. Sorted. Outstanding. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think you give compliments very easily, but okay. Let's start scaling up your production, shall we? You still have plenty of space left in here. Yes, we do. Check your construction panel. You can now place additional tinker tables. They will cost you money to build, so keep an eye on your finances. So we've got ourselves 5,741 monies. And that, by the way, is the little sort of company logo that I've selected. There wasn't a cup, unfortunately. I would have loved there to have been some sort of cup or a mug, but I thought a piece of cake would do the job quite nicely. Um, okay, so construction panel, tink table, oh, it only costs 400. Oh, we've got loads, that's fine. Decoration, oh, hang on a minute, there's decoration, we can put plants down. Oh, can we put a plant next to his desk? Oh yeah, okay, that's wonderful. And then, okay, and then we wanna get another bit of decoration when we place our other table. Um, okay, how do we rotate it? Ah, yes, perfect. Um, let's put that one there. Why don't we just put it next to the other one? Because that makes perfect sense. And then they're both near to the um, near to the outgoing zone. So let's put that down there. Okay, so clear that. I'd say you could use two more tinker tables, wouldn't you? Two? Why? We're only making cases and batteries, unless you're going to tell me something else. Um, okay, we'll put another one just there then. Right. So it looks more cosy in here. Let's continue. Yes, let's. The recipe for, ah, well, there you go. LED arrays is now available. You can switch recipes at the tinker table and see which materials are required. Okay, so that one is single cell batteries. And that one up here, this is going to be LED arrays. Okay, well, what does that need? Electronic parts. So now we need to make sure that we are going to be ordering electronic parts. Okay, right, so one lot of those, I assume, is going to be enough. Little van is driving over to deliver it, which is wonderful. Okay, so we're going to get those in. Do we need some more people? Go ahead and have two LED arrays crafted using one of your new tinker tables. Um, I assume that means me, then. I assume I am going to be doing this crafting. That is absolutely fine. Okay, right, we'll run over and do that, then. So pop over to here and make two of them, please. Start crafting that. Okay, right, here we go. I'll start crafting some LED arrays. I mean, in real life, I would have no idea how to do this. Not the faintest idea. I mean, I know what an LED array is. I wouldn't have the foggiest on how to make such a thing. But there we go. In-game page is absolutely brilliant to this sort of thing. So not too long till that's done. Hurrah, okay, market discovered. A breakthrough, ah, right, I see there, a calculator has been discovered, splendid. Great work, this is getting exciting. I think you're ready for the real deal, assembling products. Oh yes, absolutely. The assembly table is now available. I've also provided you with a simple product blueprint. 
A calculator. Oh yes, this is wonderful. Construct an assembly table and set it to the calculator blueprint. Okay, so I assume... Ooh, what was that thing? That's an assembly table. A small shelving rack. Ooh, can we have a shelf? That sounds exciting. I'm going to put a shelf over there. I don't know if we need a shelf, but we now have one and that's good. Right, assembly table. Um, Just there, please. Oh, that looks proper fancy pants. That does. Okay, right. So go over to that. Set it to make calculators. That is the product that we are making. A calculator requires one LED array, one single cell battery, and one case. Okay, gotcha. This calculator consists of the three modules already available to. Yep, work that out. Make sure all tinker tables are set up to craft one of the three required modules. A single cell battery, a simple case, and an LED array. I believe they are doing that. So yep, that's all sorted. Note that you cannot connect two tables directly with each other. Crafting employees can only pick up pick up from and put into inventories like small shelving racks. We've got a shelving rack just there. Okay, that's good. In our case, it would make sense to connect the outputs of all tinker tables with a single small shelving rack. Use a logistics mode like before and drag connections between the modules crafted at the tinker tables and a small shelving rack, which is just here. Then connect the small shelving rack with the assembly table. Okay, I think I'm with you. I think we need more employees, don't we? Don't we need some more employees to do more work over here at these two bits? Is that not what we need to do? Okay, logistics. Okay. So now, instead of going down there, we want that to go out to the shelving rack. Uh, yeah, we don't want to sell them anymore. How do we How do we remove the link? How do we remove the link there? Because there's a link going down to the selling area, isn't there? Um, okay, that can go to there. That can go to there. And that can go to there. Um, that also needs to go to there. And also there. So we're sending goods to those three things from the incoming zone. That makes sense. And then here, that goes back out onto the shelf. That goes on the shelf. That goes on the shelf. But yes, it does have a... Yeah, I don't know how we get around that. I don't know how we undo that link. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I want to get rid of that one, please. How do we... I want to get rid of the one that goes to the selling bit. I don't want you to sell any, sell any of them anymore. Can we clear it somehow? Ah, right, there we go. And then drag it out like that. Is that right? Hang on, does that now look right? Or have I, oh, I might have messed it up. I might have completely messed it up. Hang on, hold the line. I don't think I have messed it up. I think it looks okay. So we hover over that and it's fine. We hover over that and it's fine. We hover over that and it's fine. And then we need to drag that into there to say, take all of those bits that are put on the shelf and take them to the assembly table. I am liking this. This is marvellous. Okay, right. Assign an employee to begin. All right, okay, so I think we need more employees. So let's go for it. Assemble and sell one calculators. I mean, we could set our sights a little bit higher, but okay, one calculator it is. Um, let's get some more people. I think we need three more people. So let's hire some employees. Let's get ourselves... Uh, oh, well, I was going to get that person. Uh, hang on. Can we pause time for a second? Pause, pause, pause. Can we do stuff whilst paused? Yeah. Um, Thea, you've got amazing glasses. We'll hire you, Thea. Yeah, you're good. We like you. Who else do we have? Amy Lindholm has amazing glasses. So we'll hire you and um, Iris McJung or McYoung. You also have amazing glasses. Oh, hang on. But this guy looks amazing. Henry McWright. Oh, I mean, could we turn him down? He has an amazing moustache there. That is, that's that's quite good, isn't it? Let's hire, let's hire you as well. So we've got three more people. We might need to move time on a little bit because they're all stood in the same spot. Um, okay, right. You, my good sir, with the amazing moustache, you go here. You're assigned to Tinker Table 2. Amy, you are going to go and make the LED arrays. And Thea, with the proper fantastic glasses and um, you can go and actually make the calculators so that means i get to do nothing at all hooray so i just get to sit down and do very little so she's waiting for resources which is fine because yeah they've not started work on them yet so yeah now that chappy is moving the stuff over there onto the shelving rack picking up some stuff then making some stuff these people are over here right there you go so she is now taking stuff over there careful of t-bot 
onto the shelving rack. Now she is going to put some stuff on the shelving rack. And then Lady here, Thea, is picking up all the bits and bobs she needs into a big box. She's putting it over there onto the assembly table. Oh, hang on. Logistics mode. Hang on. Logistics mode. That needs to go out to the selling thing. That needs to go out to the selling thing. This is, I like this. This is all sorts of wonderful. Right, and now she carries that down here. Let's go and have a little wander over. So she puts that on the selling thing and that's it. CEO TV with breaking news. Buckle up. A few days ago, nobody would have expected this economic outcome. That guy is brilliant. I like that guy. He looks tremendous. Okay. Oh, and he's got a mug that says hot stuff. Oh, yes, Mr. Portent, you are looking awesome. Okay, so we've sold one calculator. Yeah, let's continue playing. Absolutely. Oh, no. I, oh, right. Sorry. I thought it meant continue the campaign mode. Oh, okay. Um, can we go back to the kind of menu thing, please? What, what, what's our next job? What's our next thing to make? Okay, I think we've got three levels that we can have a go at. I think we've got returning home, we've got Charlie's comeback, and then we've got future bound, and everything else looks like it's locked away until the early access version comes along. So Charlie's comeback, what's this? Charlie's Surrogate Inc. is closing down, not on your watch. Your dad worked at Charlie's for decades. There's no way you can let it go under. Time to step in and shove your skills. Do it for dad, and do it for Charlie. Okay, so we need to sample at least 10 basic research data. We might need a bit of help as to what that means, but okay, right, here we go. Welcome to Charlie's Circuits. I bet your dad shared all kinds of exciting stories about working here when you were growing up. He never stopped going on about this place. Okay, oh look, there's people working here already because they are working on stuff. There's tinker tables and stuff already in place. Okay, working here is a story of my life. Hi, you two. Hat stopped by after I heard he's in charge of this place now. That's one proud dad. It's a pleasure to have you here. I sure hope you folks are able to bring Charlie Circuits back to its former glory. What the? This peculiar pedestal. What is it? I can't remember seeing anything like it back in my day. So this thing just here, okay. This is a logistics point. We can use these to coordinate employees so they can transport items between storage inventories. Okay. Wow, there really is a fancy machine for everything nowadays. Yes, there is indeed. Well, the employees are still very important. Let's try it out. Notice that there's already an employee assigned to this logistics point. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Activate logistics mode and see how the assembly table is connected. Okay, where is the assembly table? There. Um, it's not. It's not connected. I am confused. I am very confused. That is not connected. Um... Yeah, it isn't. Okay, explain. Oh dear, it looks like the connection from the corner shelf to the outgoing zone is missing. Okay. While in logistics mode, you can click on a workplace widget to expand it. This allows you to view the materials that need to go into it, the input, and the crafted modules that will come out. The output, what goes in, must come out. Gotcha. Click on the corner shelf widget and expand it, or to expand it, and drag a connection from the calculator to the outgoing zone. Okay, can do that. That's fine. This lets a logistics employee know where to transport the product. Gotcha. I'm with you on that one. That's all done. And that seems to be working fine. Right, come out of that. The logistics person is going to pick that up. Oh, you're the logistics employee. Okay, so Sophie, that's her job. So she just moves the stuff about. So she makes stuff. She moves stuff about. Right, okay. Now I get it. These logistics pointamabobs, <laughs> good word, seem very useful. What will they think of next? Wait until we tackle research. What, do you mean like actual science? Are you going to hire some fancy schmancy professors from a lab? Not at all. We can do everything ourselves. Let me explain. A research desk requires basic research data to develop new modules. Newer modules mean better products. Oh yes, we can have fancier calculators. We'll explore ways to gain basic research data later for now. I'll provide you with some to get you started. Oh, thanks. Please build a research desk now and use it to research a new module. Take your pick. A research desk? Oh, this is very exciting. Where? Where can I put the research desk? Um, There. Let's have it in the corner. It can be by the window. They can look out over the, well, over that wall and the bins. But apart from that, it's fine. Um, And then research. Okay. A new module. Battery stack. A plastic case we've already got some of the research toward that oh so she gave us some points um what's that a simple case a plastic case or a battery stack um i don't know which is going to be best how about a battery stack 
Let's research that. Start research on that. Okay. Done it. I've done what you asked me to do. Um, oh, no, there's no one there. Hang on. We need to hire a person to do some researching. Um, okay. Uh, how about uh, you? Ashley Pandev, because you look fantastic. So there you go. You there. You are now assigned to the research desk. Go forth and do researching, Ashley. You go look using your researchy things. Let's go over and have a look at what's going on. Oh, I mean, you've got test tubes. You've got test tubes with coloured liquids in, probably volatile chemicals. Everything is going to be fine. 87%, 88%. Okay, right. Okay, so that's slowly ticking up. Okay, Rob, we'll wait until Ashley has finished her work. Hurrah! There we go. Done. Astounding. You make a convincing scientist. You can now craft a tier two module, which... Sorry to interrupt, but what on earth does tier two mean? Oh, come on. That's nice and easy to work out. It's okay. Module types are laid out in a tech tree which shows tier segments. Basically, the higher the tier is, the better its modules are. The possibilities nowadays are impressive indeed. I miss how simple things were back in the old days, though. Yes, indeed. Pipe down. There's no time to feel nostalgic. We're riding the wave of progress. I like you. You're all you're full of buzzwords. That's good. Um, anyway, you can craft tier three. Uh, sorry, three tier two modules now. I can craft them. I mean, you want me to craft them? Hang on, what? Is that what you want me to do? Uh, Nought out of three tier two modules crafted. Okay. Um, where's all the crafting stuff? I think they're over here. I think they're all in this building. Because, yeah, there's multiple buildings going on. Um, oh, yeah, they have these little shelves, look. So they just put their things onto the shelves. That's wonderful. Okay, um, what did we do? Batteries. That was it. So now we can say, rather than making that battery, can we make a battery stack? Uh, I mean, do we need to build another... Do we need to build another desk for this? Another one of those? A tinker table? Maybe we do. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Okay, do you know what? Even if it's not what we're supposed to do, it's what we're going to do. So let's put one of those just there. So drop that in and then say, Tinker Table, uh, your job is to make battery stacks. And then we want to get ourselves, where's the corner table things? Where are they? Corner shelves, because they seem quite good. So they're on the left. The corner shelves seem to be on the left. But what are they sort of sticking? Hang on. No, they're like that. They're like that. So pop a corner shelf there. And then let's go to the logistics mode. I'm, I'm getting the hang of this. This is all good. This is all good. So they're one. So they're saying, take the ingredients, put them onto the corner shelf, and then use them to make whatever it is you're making. Then put it back onto the corner shelf and then take it over there somewhere. Okay, right. I think that's fine. So the incoming zone uh, then goes to there. So now that seems to be... Oh, hang on. No, that's that's not right. Hang on. Why isn't that working? I thought that would work. Ah, hang on. I need to link that to that, do I? Uh, yeah. And now that can go to the corner shelf. That looks better. That looks better. And then when it goes from the corner shelf, then it needs to go from there to over... Uh, how do we make it go over there? To in here to the assembly, oh, onto their corner shelf, onto that one. Okay, is that now right? No, it doesn't seem to like us putting that onto the corner shelf. I think we're almost there. I think we've almost got it sorted. Hang on, that goes back into there, that goes back onto there. Is that now connected? No, it doesn't seem to want to connect that to that corner shelf. Why, why do you forsake me, game? Um. Okay, okay, hang on. Let's have a look at this. What is this doing? This corner shelf here is... Uh, what is that doing? It's grabbing electronics and it's grabbing other... It's grabbing the other components. Hang on. What is that even making? What's, what's that even making? Hang on. What are you making here? You're making the LED light things. You're making the simple batteries. You're making the cases. That's now loading up on there. Plastic and something else. So plastic and chemicals and probably uh, metal. It needs metal going onto there. Okay. Have we ordered any metal? We might not have ordered any metal. We might need metal. Yeah, we'll have some metal, please. That might be useful so we can finish this thing off. 
Oh, I think we need to drag the specific item, don't we? It wasn't sure which one of the things it wants us to take. So now we've clicked into the shelf over here. So then we can say, when there is one of these products available, when there is a fancy battery stack, take that over and put it there, gotcha. Okay, right, yes, I am absolutely on board. Uh, we haven't got the metal delivered yet, but we could always get ourselves another employee. Let's hire um, you, because you've got good glasses on. You will do the job just nicely. Where have you gone? Um, where is the new person? New person? Where are you? Is that you? No, hang on a minute. Where did the new person go? Oh, they're there. Oh, they're just there. Sorry, hello. Uh, you, come here. That's your place. You are now working at the tinker table. And I think, um, oh no, they're lacking metal. I still think they're lacking a bit of metal. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, missing materials, metal. Okay, um, well, person here, chappy just there, Calvin Carlson, needs to get some metal delivered to this table ASAP because at the moment we can't do anything. We are just waiting for metal to be delivered. Um, I don't know what order exactly he does things in, but it'd be good if we get the metal there really soon. I wonder if we need to employ another worker. I wonder if that's what we need to do, because this poor chap is very, very busy just looking around these same boxes. Maybe we can get somebody else. Um, how about we get ourselves uh, Mark Van Martinez? Yeah, let's get you, Mark Van Martinez, and your workplace can be just there. So now you can go and start lifting boxes. There we go. Right, so you've grabbed a box. You can take it to different places. Um... Yeah, um, okay, we do need the metal. I mean, we can, we can fast forward the game. We can fast forward it, but it seems to be the metal is not being delivered to the right place. Yeah, they're grabbing everything else except the metal, which is a bit of an issue because I don't know how to make them go and grab the metal. I thought that would be one of the things they would do kind of automatically. Hang on a minute. Do we need to tell them to go and take the metal? Is that is that something we've not done? The metal is there. Hang on a minute. Do we need to tell you to take metal from... Ah, hang on. We haven't told you to take it over here. Take the metal to over there, please. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, do that. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Yes. Okay, that's what we hadn't done. Okay, come out of that. Now let's see what happens. Are they going to move the metal eventually at some point? Yes. Okay, right. Okay, right. We need to tell them to do that. That's fine. And then you are unboxing everything. You can then make one of these battery stack things. Right, that's one done. And now you're going to make another one. And then you're going to make a third one. And it will complete this goal down here, which will be wonderful. Hey! Okay, great. Next up is a key aspect of engineering. Drum roll, please. Do -do 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 -do. It's product design. Okay, this should be right up your alley. You used to draw so much when you were a kid. Spaceships, robots. This should be easy for you. Oh, don't you embarrass me. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than drawing. From what I've seen so far, you can handle it. Designing a new product involves choosing a set of modules. These modules will determine the product's specific features and drawbacks. Give it a try. Set up a design desk and design a blueprint for a new product. How about a mix between a massage chair and a television? Your mother would love that. Okay, to be fair, I would love that too. But let's work with what we have for now. Try to earn at least 1,000 money with a new product. Okay, so now we need to get ourselves a new desk a design desk are oh, there only 800 oh okay that's not so bad i thought they were going to be really really expensive let's tuck it over into uh which way round is it there let's put it just there and then i imagine that's us is it we're going to go and do this because we're fancy schmancy important okay right what am i doing what do you want me to do uh, at least a thousand with a new product okay create new Oh, okay, right, we've got a product type of calculator. We are creating a new type of calculator. Okay. Um, right. Uh, LED array. Draw, I, I don't know what I'm doing with this at all in any way, shape or form. I do not know what I am doing with this. Tutorial lady, where are you? Help me now. This is all sorts of weird. Um, okay. An LED array. And another LED array just there. Don't know what I'm doing with this at all. Uh, battery. Battery stack. Um, we can tuck one of those in like that. And then a single cell battery could go in like that. And then another single cell battery. Is that good? Is that what we want? So the battery life is good. And the display fidelity is good. And we fit all the little components in here. Okay. 
That's quite good. I like that. So the display is, is good. 0.4 out of 0.4. That's what it's supposed to be, I assume. And then, yeah, the battery life is actually pretty good. Okay, the product must have a unique name. Oh, oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Product name. Um, okay, what do we call this? We'll call it the Numbertronic 9000, because as we all know, adding a number at the end in the thousands makes it sound super futuristic indeed. So I guess the Numbertronic 9000, um, I think that's all we need to do. I think that's all we need to do. So it's got some features. It does have a bit of weight. The ecological footprint is 0 0.5. I mean, I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then the yeah, fragility and heat loss and stuff. But I think that's okay. I think that is okay. I mean, do we have a case? Yeah, there's plastic. So there must be a case somewhere. Appearance. Oh, we can we can change the appearance. We could. Oh, yes. Like that. And let's make it teal touch. This this is this is beautiful. This is brilliant. Okay. Um, market appeal is absolutely through the roof. Yeah, let's finish that design. It takes 11 seconds to make one of those. Wow, that's super quick. Okay, finish that design. Um, okay, now do we tell a table to make one of those? I mean, do we stop them making their current thing and get them to make the, the new thing? Can we go into here? Hang on a minute. Is space pause? Space is pause. Marvellous. Okay, go over to here. Your new job is to make a Numbertronic 9000, which will mean that you can make use of these battery stacks that are appearing in your little corner shelf thing. Okay, so now unpause. You can now start working on that. Missing logistics connections. Oh, oh, hang on. What? I've broken something. Uh, ah, right. Hang on a minute. No, no, she's not. She's, ah, right. Yeah. That now, I bet we're not taking that stuff into here. Okay, right, now we are, we're on it, we're rocking and rolling with this, it's all good, it's all good. So now she can then start making that, can she? Yes, there we go. I like the way that she makes it, it's just sort of by flailing her arms round toward the table. <laughs> I mean, that's how I try and make things. This is how I do any kind of manual work, I just sort of flail my arms around. Ah, right, hang on, we've not configured this though. Missing logistics connections. Yeah, we've not configured the end result to go to... So the calculator to go out to the corner shelf. That's where that needs to go, isn't it? Can, can we not do that? Can we not have the calculator go out to the corner shelf? Is that not what that corner shelf is for? It's got four of those. Hang on. Why, why can't we make it go to the corner shelf? Uh, oh, and now we're at the... Oh, I'm in logistics mode and it's not paused. Um... Right, okay. She's just she's got the box, but she's not doing anything with the box. Oh, I've clearly done something very silly here. I thought that was what we did. We put it into that corner shelf, but it doesn't seem to like that, does it? It's not happy with that. I think we might need to tell her to go and sell that directly now. And then, so if we undo this and unpause it, she'll go down here and put it onto the outgoing zone, I think. Well, she should do, hopefully. There you go. So she sort of does that. And now, I think we go back into logistics mode. And now, I think we can say, okay, now we've done that, put it onto the corner shelf. The logistics node receiving new reservation slots has an unrestricted inventory slot with an item in it. Oh, okay. What does that mean? The logistics node receiving new reservation slots has an unrestricted inventory slot with an item in it. Oh, there's already things on that corner shelf. Ah, okay. How do we clear the corner shelf? How do we clear that out? Um, I don't know how we go about doing that now. Can we just send that down to there and say, make that go away. Sell all the stuff on there, please. That's there. That's not cutting, is it? That's not working. How do we sell all that stuff? We want to get the stuff off of that corner shelf. Unless we just make another corner shelf. Can we move things around? Can we move it a bit? Yeah, it's got four of those on it. We want to sort of move that around a bit if we can. Can we pick that up? Uh, move. Okay. Move that to say there. And then grab us another corner shelf. Hang on then. Build a corner shelf. So there's probably better ways to do this. I suspect I've done this in a slightly obscure way, but that's all good. Um, right, put that there. And now go from here, go into logistics, 
take the calculator thing, put that onto there, and then take that down to th to there. Take that down to the selling zone, which I think... Yay! Okay, right, I think it's sorted. I think because that shelf is full, I think because that shelf has got lots of calculators on already, just ordinary calculators, I don't think it likes it. I don't think we could put anything else in it. But there we go. Right, let's see if this works. So, uh, Camilla Huber flailing her arms round in a very lovely way. And she is going to finish the fancy calculator. And she's taking it straight down there. Okay. That's not the place. You're supposed to put it on there. Hang on. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. Maybe this isn't as sorted as I wanted. Um, oh, no. How do we... How do we kill that connection? Uh, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Just do that one. Put it onto there, please. Uh, is she going to go and finish that job now? Okay, right. Well, she's done one. That's okay. That's fine. Um, right. Go and build another one. Do we make 500 off of one of those calculators? Do we really make 500 money off of a calculator? Wow. Okay, that's wonderful. Right. She's got nothing to do. Can we give her something else to do? Just research a plastic case or something. Research some shinier things, please. Right, she's put the box onto there. And that lady has picked up the box. And she is taking it down to the outgoing zone. Okay, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Okay, when are people going to come and collect our things? In a little while, in 45 seconds time. So we should have quite a few of these on there by then. We should have a number of those things in the outgoing zone. Okay, roll. Well, there we go. And let's wait until that happens. And we should make quite a tidy profit off of that. Okay, we have researched the plastic case. Uh, let's research the wooden case, because why not? Although, why would you want a wooden case? Okay, maybe, you know, for you know, visuals, aesthetics, or eco people that really, really do not want a plastic case. They want a lovely wooden case for their calculator. Maybe that's why. That's okay. So we'll get that done. It won't take long for her to do that. And I think it should be imminent okay here we go someone's going to come and buy all our stuff and we have made quite a bit of money off that superb work charlie would be proud of you ah oh, that's nice too bad my old boss isn't around anymore to see this i was wondering who charlie was okay the old boss man gotcha rest in peace charlie um let's talk about basic research data yes let's do that basic research data is generated by using modules on an analysis desk okay Please note that any modules used for this are consumed in the process. Okay, your next step is to place an analysis desk and sample at least eight basic research data from any module type of your choosing. Wow, this all sounds like one of those sci-fi movies you used to watch. I can't wait to tell your mother. I'm sure your wife will be delighted and you should be too. We're close to having Charlie's circuits back on track. Don't worry, Charlie, we've got this. We've absolutely got this. Um, okay... So we've got a logistics point. Where is the thing we're doing now? What are we doing? Um, is it one of these? Oh, I do want to put some plants down. Um, it wasn't a design desk. Uh, hang on a minute. What are we putting down? I've completely forgotten what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, an analysis desk. That's the ticket. Um, okay, well, let's just put one of those into that corner. Careful, T-Bot. And then we'll run over to this and just see what we need to do. So modules to analyse. Okay. Do we just add analyze a battery stack? How does this work? Mo no modules selected. One out of modules allowed for analysis. Analysis will consume the module. I mean, do we need to get someone to bring it over? Is that what we want to do? We want to get somebody to bring it over to get us some science points? I don't know what this is all about now. Battery stacks. Um, hang on a minute. Hang on. You make the battery stacks, don't you? You make them. Can we can we go to your thing here? Can we take a, can we just sort of take some battery stacks? We'll just pill for some of those. Right, hang on. Excuse me. Cheerio. Bye-bye. I've just stolen some of your stuff. Um, and then we can then put that into the desk or something, or into here. Uh <laughs> how does this work? Where where's the where's the tutorial lady gone? How are we supposed to do this bit? Oh, I see. Right, we have to select it. Oh, I thought just um, having it ticked in the little box was was it. Oh, that allows the analysis, but then we have to say which one we're going to do now. Okay, right. So, yeah, start analysis. We've got eight of these things, and I think that's what she said. That's quite convenient. Okay, so do that. That's going to take us 40 seconds to work all the way through those things. Okay, for the whole lot or just for one? 
I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I think that's going to take quite some time. That's just one thing that we've done. Okay, right, well, there we go. Let's let's watch him do some analysis. Again, that is precisely how I would analyse anything technical. Just sort of stand near some fancy equipment and just sort of whipple my hands around. Um, okay, right, let's wait until Professor Penge here has finished doing his very important work. And the last of our battery stacks is being analysed, and there it is. And I think that's it, isn't it? Is that, is that it? 68 out of 8 samples. Sample at least 8 basic research data. Oh, oh, we, we, we've done that and, and loads more. Oh, crikeys. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't really realise we, we, we were supposed to be doing that. I thought it meant do 8 things, not get 8 basic research data. We've got loads of basic research data now. Um, okay. Tutorial lady. We've, we've done the basic research data. Do you want to do, do some other stuff? Hang, hang on a minute, hang on. Can, can we get you to just research that? Because that's the last thing we need for that. And that's not so bad. I don't mind that. Um, I mean, is she, re is she using the basic research data? Yeah, so she's going through that. So what do you want me to do now then? What do you want me to do? I don't know. Buying buildings first. Trophy. Logistics table. Um, yeah, I've done that, haven't I? I've, I've completed the goal. M move on? Do we need to move on? Or is that kind of the end of the level? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we need to get this thing researched first. Maybe that's the whole point. Maybe that's why we're doing this, to finish this fancy bit of research. So um, I'll just sort of kick back, as the boss I am. I'll just sort of sit back in... Uh, actually, there's no chairs. There's no chairs. I won't sit back in a chair, because there aren't any chairs. I'll just sort of sit back and, and relax, and go and find wherever the heck they might sell a cup of tea around this place, and we'll wait for this research to be complete, because maybe when that gets to 100, that might actually finish this thing off. Okay, we have researched an LED matrix, la -di da However, that still is not helping me out with the rest of this. Um, yeah, hang on. What else are we doing? What else are we doing? Next step is to place an analysis desk and sample at least eight basic research data from any module type of your choosing. We've done that. Sounds like movies. Wife delighted. Um... Yeah, I think maybe, I mean, yeah, I know this is, you know, it's a, it's a test version. It's a test version. Maybe that has gone a little bit wonkaloids. Because, yeah, I think we we're supposed to have done that. Yeah, we got the founder one. V yeah, we haven't got the next milestone yet. But I think we've completed the goals for it. I don't know what else to do. Sample at least eight. We've done 68 out of eight. We've gone above and beyond the Call of Duty for that one. So, yeah, we've done loads and loads of research stuff. So, yeah, I don't know what else that we're supposed to do with this now. I think it might have gone a little bit wonkaloids. I do like all the extra lovely little details I've got on here. So, yeah, they've got this outside area that we can't even get to. We can't even reach this outside area, but it's there just so we can look at it and it's pretty. They've got some birds over here. And over near this sort of disused, very, very ancient looking kind of rail line, there's little butterflies fluttering about. And there you can see the rail line bits are broken over there. There's also, oh, there was, maybe it's moved. Oh, there you go. There's some butterflies up here as well. I did notice that we can buy this. We can buy this building. It's for sale. We can buy it for 15,000 money. We've got 23,000. Let's just buy the building for the sake of it. Hooray, we've bought an exciting new building. And I think, can we walk out the door and go and have a little look around? No, I don't think we can. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of think maybe this is... We've, we've done something to break this. Maybe we weren't supposed to do quite so many. But we can unlock medium shelves. We've got a trophy. We can buy a building. That's the reward. And we can build a logistics table, which I think we've already done. Did we not already do a logistics table? Hang on. What was that? That was an analysis desk. Hang on. What's a logistics table? Where is that? A logistics table as opposed to anything else. A logistics point. Can't see a logistics table anywhere. Um, do you know what? I think maybe something has gone a little bit sort of wibbly with the... Um, with the sort of build we've got, which is fine because that's the whole point. It's a test build. Maybe it's supposed to end there. Maybe that's where it finishes. I do not know. But yeah, I think we're supposed to get a little bit further on. But um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what we do with this now. Um, however, I do know that I'm going to go and put some plants around the place because plants are lovely and everyone loves a nice plant. So there you go. Let's go and throw some lovely plants around the place. 
I may have gone a little bit overboard with the plants in our new building that we bought, but this can be where people can go to have a little relax. It's full of lovely plants. The air in here will be lovely and fresh. The company is running low on funds. I did spend quite a lot of money on plants in here. I think they look quite nice. And if you look, they're sort of in the shape of a cup of tea. There's the cup bit. And there's the handle, you see. There was logic behind it. There was method behind the madness. I mean, okay, the madness might have driven our company almost to bankruptcy. But it, it's fine. It's fine. People can come in here. This could be a nice relaxing area. But yes, in terms of actually moving on, I think we might have done something to confuse the game. I think because we've got 79 out of 8 sampled, I think maybe we sampled too much stuff. I think it got a little bit befuddled by the fact that we've done an awful lot of stuff. And um, and yeah, it just didn't like it. It just did not like it. The analysis desk was not made for that kind of thing. So um, yeah, we, we've baffled the game. We've baffled the game and it doesn't know what to do. I mean, we could, we could just go and grab something really simple and go and get two simple cases and just see if that helps because that would produce eight. That would produce eight of this stuff. Let's give that one final go and just see if we can finish this off. So yeah, you, you're making cases. So yeah, can we just grab some cases off of here? Can we just get, I don't really need 20 of them. Can we split that in some way? Um, it doesn't look like we can. Okay, I've got 20 cases. That's absolutely fine. I can carry these about, it's all good. So if we just do two of those, if we just say plastic case, um, yeah, I'm holding, I'm holding the plastic cases. So allow that. So plastic case, two of the, oh, that creates plus, oh no, it's a simple, is it simple? I know it's a simple case, that's why. Simple case, allow that. Um, two of those, please. Start analysis. Okay, right, Bosch time on, nice and fast. Let's see if this helps in any way. I think I've told it to do three. I might have told it to do three. So yeah, so look, now we're on 83 out of eight. Uh, and so this should be enough. This should generate more than enough. 87 out of eight. Yeah, I think it's got confused somewhere along the line. Which is unfortunate because, yeah, it would count. So we've not actually finished this thing. But never mind, 91 out of 8 sampled now. We've got so much basic research data. We've got it pouring out of our ears. Um, okay, right. So we've, we've, we've caused a little bit of a, a glitch there. But that's the whole point. That's why it's a public test build. That's why they have these test builds to find these little problems. So we might never actually get to see this level. I don't think we're going to be able to get to future bound because we've obviously, yes, caused a bit of a wibble in Charlie's comeback. But um, it does look like it's just a kind of level which is putting what we've learned to the test by the look of it. Earn at least 5,000 money with pocket computers. So I'm going to assume, now I don't know, I might be completely wrong, but I'm going to assume that that's going to go, oh, you did quite well in the previous two. Here you go. Now your challenge is just to use what you've learned and make a great big pile of monies. And there might be some other bits and bobs as well. But yeah, with pocket computers as well. Um, but do you know what? I think we kind of get the idea with this. And this is very wonderful indeed. I like good company. And we've only played two levels. We did the intro level, so yeah, the tutorial, and then yeah, not quite as simple a tutorial as that one, but yeah, we're still learning the game, and it's really good. I really, really enjoy this an awful lot. I am very, very much looking forward to when this comes out, and when we can play extra versions, when it goes into early access and that kind of stuff, when we get to see some more of the features, and yeah, I, I, it's brilliant. It's really, really good. It looks great. It's got that nice sort of sense of humour about it. It's got enough going on to keep you, you know, keep you on your toes. So you have to sort of work out your logistics and your roots and all that kind of stuff. So yes, I can say without a shadow of a doubt that this will be returning to the channel whenever we can play it some more. When it goes into early access and when it goes into the full release, we will be playing some more of this because it is really rather wonderful indeed. Hopefully you have enjoyed this little look at Good Company. If you have, then please do leave a like. That would be very, very special blended indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on next time, whenever it is that we can come back to good company. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well, and they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's going down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going... <laughs>